Hello, hello, beautiful, beautiful, abundant soul. I am so thankful that you are here for another Unapologetically Abundant podcast. I'm your host, Petya Kolobova, and today we will be talking about the blend of business and motherhood. It's such a journey. Let me tell you, motherhood, it's really like the ultimate teacher of surrender. I used to think that I like going with the flow, but let me tell you, motherhood it's the ultimate teacher of that you can plan whatever you want and then the baby and life will just plan something completely differently like right now planning my calls and interviews and abundance activation calls and supporting my clients in a voxer and even just like the basic basic things like eating more meal or showering or working out it's completely a different new adventure now with the baby. Our Sophia just hit four months and she already has two teeth. So gassy baby at night, feeding baby in the, during the day. And it's just been such an adventure and nothing really goes as, as like I planned. And it just brings up so many things, especially as owning a business. So there are really few things that I wanted to share with you in the motherhood journey. The first one, it's really asking for help. I know I'm pretty awesome, but let me tell you, I am not pretending to be a superwoman and I don't want to be. I knew even before Sophia came, you know, before she came to the earth side that I would want to support. And I again, I planned, I planned my postpartum. I was supposed to have like delivered home meals and, you know, extra support and lady who was supposed to be cooking for us get sick and couldn't help so last minute I just called my mom to Europe I'm like hey can I buy you a ticket then you come and within a week she like packed and arranged everything and came here for three months so really asking help to my husband to my mom to my friends it's truly not about doing it all alone and trying to prove yourself this is not the space The second, talking about space, the second, it's really making sure that I have a space just for me each and every day. And with a baby, it can be challenging, whether it's just to sleep or asking my hubby to watch her or, like I said, having a warm meal or just a warm tea or just needing to catch up on sleep and my husband having her overnight. I had to make sure that I take care of me because only when I take care of me, I can be the good mother. I can be the good wife. I can be the good mentor and coach to the women who are working with me. So really each and every day, and listen, it can be 15 minutes, it can be two hours, whatever you can, however you can, create that space for yourself. The third thing that really helped me, it's having the right support. And when I say right support, it's not just asking your loved ones to help you. It's the support in your business. I'm so thankful for my team who, when I was on maternity leave, they were actually running everything. I was like out. (laughs) I was out with the baby. I was in my baby bubble and I was so happy there. Uh, Even though sleepless, you know, I was so happy there. So having my team and knowing what to delegate, knowing what can be passed, knowing what can just wait or what I don't have to do anymore. So having a team was super helpful. Then having my midwife and doula that I can text anytime, any questions, so I don't have to be Googling everything, you know, it's so life-giving. And also for my best friend who was always available to hear me, to advise me, to confirm me when I need it because herself, she's a mama of two little boys. And the last but not least, it's embracing the uncertainty. It's like I said, you can be planning whatever you want. And then you get to embrace that part of uncertainty in life. Because I know this. I know this consciously. Everything is passing so quickly. I remember when my grandma was still here. She transitioned a couple of years ago. I knew that every single time I'm calling her, it can be the last call. It can be the last time. So when you can realize that, when you can know that, 
you're acting differently. So embracing that this all too shall pass, like the newborn stage, oh my God, those first few weeks, it passed so quickly. I don't even know. I feel like I blink my eyes and she's like a big girl now. You know what I mean? And she's quote unquote only four months, but still it feels like everything is passing so quickly. So anytime something is ha happening, I'm really being intentional about being present to it. Like really asking myself, what is this teaching me? Is it a patient? Is it asking for help? Is it to delegate? Is it to be more unapologetic? And I feel like, you know, unapologetic is the name of the podcast, right? I feel like when I have my daughter, I become even more unapologetic with my time. What am I saying yes to? Who I want to be working with? With my pricing? Who am I being? And trust me, there are more shifts coming in my life and in my business. I invest that, you know, high five figures in my mentor, in a mastermind. I'm investing in another mentor now who will help me to really come as even trust self of me embracing the new identity I really get to know that my energy it's limited and I'm so conscious about it so these are some of the things that really helped me blending motherhood in the business and of course I could go even deeper on the business so if this is something you want me to talk about please shoot me a dm on instagram you know I'm always there available to you know talk to you any questions and I'm curious if you're a mama what are some tips for you for me as a new mama, what helps you or helped you in the past the most when your little one was teething and growing or was gassy? I'm always open for feedback and growing together. And remember my love, abundance, it's your birthright. Healing is possible. And then there is someone out there who is waiting for you to share your message.